all, all creatures on the earth have biophotons that we exchange. It's why people love their animals and animals love people because you're having on a level, you're having a biophoton change. So a rat, a rat's neurons, so your 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 the, the the neurons in your brain are what produce these biophotons. So that's why we like to look into each other's eyes because we get the biophoton from the brain when we do that. And so a rat, for example, produces one biophoton a minute, but a human produces a billion photons a second. One, the, one morning I woke up, it was um, uh, January 1st or 2nd, 2020. And um, this voice just woke me up and shook me and went, you're gonna be quarantined. And I went, oh, okay. <laughs> And I rolled up my husband. I said, we're going to get quarantined. I don't know what that means. <laughs> He's like, well, let's, and I said, well, let's go next door and ask our, our, our friends because they're Mormons and maybe they know how to quarantine because <laughs> I know they collected things. <laughs> are we from Atlantis and are we re remembering the mistakes? And at what, at, at, and then I, this morning I'm asking myself, well, now if that's true, then how do I, how do I filter out the unconscious parts of me that are still Atlantis and need to be something new? So there's just this whole multidimensional shifting going on and asking myself hard questions that I probably don't have the answer to, but if I just keep asking them, the answers come this artificial consciousness happens through genetic engineering or nanoparticles, like I said, in the different delivery systems that they come to us. The reason I wrote the book was I was so concerned whether or not psychic intelligence was gonna be possible in that world. Are they gonna know, are they gonna know psychic intuition and psychic abilities and beautiful messages and going freely out into the field of consciousness to connect with these beings, are they even ever going to know that? There's a, the, a fusion reactor in France that's coming online soon, and they're building the magnet for it. So fusion, fusion energy. Um, they're building the magnet. Uh, parts of the United States are building the magnet and it's, um, to run the reactor, it's 280,000 times stronger than the Earth's magnetics. So you bring that online and you, you are, so, so what they're trying to create is they're trying to create a solar energy at the core of the sun, something comparable to that on the Earth. Okay. Um, and then you look at CERN, you know, CERN is literally the largest data user in the world. Now, why does CERN need so much data? Probably because they're running behavioral experiments when they blast out those, those different ways, those gravitational waves across the earth, across the electromagnetic field of the earth. Transhumans need exoconscious humans <laughs> very much. And furthermore, we're not going to become the cosmic citizens that we all want to become if we're not exoconscious. And I think that a lot of people in the UAP community now are kind of realizing that if you if you if you break consciousness off and just ignore it and just depend on your AI to take you to the moon or to Mars or wherever, that fine, you're gonna get there, but you're not gonna be there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you're not gonna really be there. You're not gonna you know in the, you, you're, you, you're gonna be isolated from the field of consciousness and the dimension that exists there. <laughs>